Welcome back to Wood into Sawdust. Over the next few videos, I'm going to be teaching you how to turn a bottle stopper. Uh, in the first video, we're going to discuss the minimal equipment needed to turn a bottle stopper. Then we're going to, in the second video, we're going to discuss design philosophy, what makes a good bottle stopper, what doesn't, some artistic flair, things like that. And then the third video will actually turn the bottle stopper. So let's get started. Bottle stoppers are exactly like that. They're basically a piece of metal with some sort of rubber gasket and then a piece that you turn that screws onto it that then just sits inside the bottle. The minimal equipment needed is obviously going to be the bottle stopper blank, uh, the kit, right? They come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. The material you're going to turn your bottle stopper the top out of. Um, these again, various patterns, colors, materials. A device called a mandrel, which is where you mount your material onto, and then you add this, holds it, the lathe holds it so you can then turn it. And then finally, basic set of turning tools. Uh, this is a spindle. So I always use a spindle roughing gouge. And then at the minimum, a smaller spindle turning gouge. You can then upgrade or add other things such as one of these uh, detail parting tools or this is a carbide, uh, carbide detailer, but you can add others. So that's the minimum that you need. From there, things go on. So, so let's talk about some of the items specifically. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here so you can get a better view. All right, so let's talk about the kit itself, the actual bottle stopper. Uh, they come in multiple styles. Colors. This one's golden, uh, and even one that's based on a cork. All these have their benefits and drawbacks. Um, this particular one here uses two, gap, two rubber O-rings for its how it seals. Uh, I'm not a fan of this kind because it's very easy for this to get lost and fall into the bottle or elsewhere, right? It just comes right off these little O-rings. So I prefer the kind that have a rubber, either they're more in there and don't really come out easily, or this other style which has this big boot, for lack of a better word, that's on the bottle stopper itself. So that's a quick discussion on the bottle stoppers. The next item up is something we call a mandrel. This is the most basic kind of mandrel you'll find. It's basically a rod with a big thick bushing that looks like basically a washer, it's well down to it, with a threaded end that's maybe about three quarters to an inch long. Typically the ball stoppers will screw onto these and then you have to mount these into your lathe. Uh, the most common way of mounting these is with a drill chuck. Right, you go in there, you tighten it down, and it goes into the headstock. I'm not a fan of this kind. Uh, the reason being, it's great when you have, when you're starting out and the tail stock is pushed all the way up and your material is being forced against and everything's nice and tight. But when you pull your tail stock away to work on the top of your material here, if you get a good catch, this could come loose, in which case your piece goes flying. So what I've found that I prefer is a mandrel from Penn State. Uh, it's called the PSI Ball Stopper Screw Chuck. And it's basically just this here. Material gets screwed on. And this here, this screws onto your lathe, just like your chuck normally would. That's great because it's, if you get a catch, 
remember you're spinning in this direction um, counterclockwise which if anything tightens it onto the lathe now depending on what type of lathe you have this will either fit out of the box or it won't this size here is designed for what's called a midi lathe typically the smaller jets the smaller Rikons and deltas and such if you have a larger lathe um, full-size jet powermatic one-way robust you're gonna need some sort of adapter and they do make them here's one that's here it's this is this okay size of a small lathe size of a full-size lathe you can see the big difference in size there and all we do is we just screw this on and then this screws onto the lathe as one big unit and that also works really well the other reason why I prefer this type is the end here is you know it's the same as this bushing here um, but it acts as a good stop of where I need to work and, and don't turn any thinner you can turn thinner if that's your design choice but keep in mind that with many of these bottle stoppers if you go thinner than that bushing you, this edge piece here that looks like a washer will stick out and be proud it'll be proud of the bottle stopper the material you turn and that may work right with these this particular style it's it's very thin here it's very small so that works really well uh, just one note of caution this style mandrel look how size the bushing is there here's another vendor's version of it look at the size of this bushing see how small that is this is great if you're doing one of these thin ones where the edge here is really thin it matches but if you're doing one of these larger ones it's not so good so let's talk some upgrades the basic you had your basic kit your mandrel your material to turn you drill the hole you're going to drill a hole to mount right it's going to mount here that's going whether it's your mandrel or the device of your bottle stopper it's not very well it's not threaded when you drill it right it's just so they make tap and drill sets these things work just fine they'll create the nice uh, screw pattern you're going to need in here so that you can screw it on the mandrel nicely there, there's a downside to that though uh, the material the wood here if you get a catch or something could come off right so that that's not a great thing you could strip the threads so they do make some inserts so you, that are tapped to fit this and all you do is you drill the appropriate depth hole and you epoxy uh, CA glue whatever your favorite method is polyurethane glue right you drill your hole glue that in and then of course then you start mounting on the mandrel and do your turning uh, that's my preferred way of doing it everything fits snugly fits nice it's easy to turn no issues uh, catches tend not to break anything rip things out so again that's pretty much it you need your bottle stopper your material you're going to use a mandrel or some form of mounting uh, in my case I use this mandrel and I use these inserts your basic set of turning tools and you're good to go thank you very much